Welcome to Quick Takes with Kevin, a weekly podcast about leadership, life, and ministry with Kevin Ezell, president of the North American Mission Board. Each week, Kevin will be focusing on how pastors can keep their souls healthy in the midst of the demands and challenges of everyday life. Now, here's your host, Kevin Ezell. Kevin Ezell from the North American Mission Board and my very good friend, Ted Trailer from Olive Baptist Church in Pensacola, Florida. And uh, Ted has been a model pastor for years, so I can't wait uh, for you to hear from him today. Ted, thanks for taking time to do hey, this. Hey, my joy. Glad to be here. Hey, Ted, in Lance Switt's book, um, he talks about image management in Chapter 4, about the inner and the outer. And um, what are some of the temptations as a pastor? Because, I mean, you're a very skilled orator. I mean, you're a very good preacher, and you can do things on the outside, and then on the inside, you know, not be consistent there. What are some of the temptations uh, or pitfalls a pastor could fall in? Well, the, the title of the book is scary. Yeah. I mean, really, when I thought of that, because it is just so easy to paint the Pharisee. Yeah. You know, and, and boy, really, to, to do that. Yeah. So for me, I mean, it's preaching. That, that's what I do, and it's just so easy to get away from the quiet inner time with the Lord, quiet time with my wife, right? to pray with her. You know, it's a lot easier to talk about, you know, our family does great other than the one-on-one and hold my hand and let's really put that before the Lord. And right. It's just easy to, you know, kind of gloss over that. I mean, yeah. it's fake. It's, it's a right. fraud. So, uh, man, what a powerful title for this book. Yeah. And uh, Well, I tell you, to me, it'd be more tempting for a guy like you to do this, well, no, what I mean by that is, um, some guys who are highly skilled can rely on the skill and not the unction. Exactly. And so what is it, because I'm not blowing smoke here, I mean, you're just very gifted. Um, when, you, when a guy's very gifted, when a guy's not, he, he realizes he's totally dependent. Mm. And sometimes when you're, you're gifted, you, you can pull it off. Oh, you can skate. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you but, just really can't. You, but, you, but you're such, you, you're very transparent. You're a genuine guy in your heart. You're heartfelt. Well, how do you balance that, or how are you able to balance that? Well, Dr. Chris will, years ago, when I was just a kid, I heard him say, keep your mornings to the Lord. Yeah. And I've just, I've done that. I, I've just kept my mornings to the Lord, and, and I just have to put all of that b- before the Father, first and foremost. I mean, and then Manly Beasley, the old prophet, just uh, he said, listen, if, if you're hollow on the inside, he said, right. it doesn't matter how good you are with your tongue. Uh-huh. If you don't have fire uh, in, at the throne, uh-huh. you know, it, then it really doesn't matter. Yeah. So you just got to keep coming back to the crucified life of Galatians 2.20, that I'm crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. Yeah. It's not me, Christ in me. And boy, if, it, you can just begin to take yourself for granted because you can... Uh, it, after a while, you, you you can just physically do some things, yeah. but there's no fire. Yeah. There's no anointing. Yeah. The unction that the old timers used that word yeah. we talked about. Yeah. And uh, I remember I had an old preacher tell me one time, he said, I really don't know what unction is, but I know when it ain't. Oh, that's great. And, and I thought, you know, I, I have that in my own life. I'm not sure I know exactly what it is, but I know when what I don't it have it. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Well, you know, the interesting thing about Im- image management mm. is that, you know, I think when we understand our complete, total dependence upon um, God, someone asked me, hey, uh, how, because I was frustrated because I couldn't control something. Yeah. It was out of my control. And say, like, well, how powerful do you think you really are? Mm. I mean, I mean, ser- can you actually control <laughs> that? And sometimes, uh, you know, we uh, might believe our own headlines and forget real quick that, look, we are completely, totally dependent upon God on our face before Him. And, yes. And uh, without His strength, we can't do anything. Exactly. Oswald Chambers says, he uses a phrase that says, you must be detached to Jesus. I, the first time I read that, I thought, that's wrong. You'd be, when you say detached, and what he meant by that is I began to dig in. You've got to be detached from everything, everything else, else, but detached unto Jesus, that, yeah. that He is your everything. He is your all. Right. And until you come to that place, 
Yeah. If he's not everything, you're still attached exactly. to something else, no. which may be your own skill, uh, your mind, you know, whatever. Right. Uh, but you got to be detached to Jesus. He's it. Right. He's all of it. It's really not about image management. It's more about relation management. Exactly. You have a relationship. Oh, yeah. Well, Pastor, thank you so much uh, for listening today. But just make sure that you guard your inner and your outer and mm. you, you uh, guard that time with the Lord. Yes. And that time with your wife. Amen. Thanks. For that. You've been listening to Quick Takes with Kevin. Join us each week as Kevin visits with pastors about the challenges they face and the lessons they've learned as they balance faith, family, and ministry. Thanks for listening.